All right, welcome back. So this is JT Gatoring. Uh, anchors. We're gonna have some anchor talk. So for the John boat, I have 1436 John boat, mud motor, troll motor, um, front deck, floor in it. Um, I'm always in a small body of water. I don't live up in the Great Lakes. I'm not in Oak Okeechobee. Um, I'm normally in a sand bottom, mud, muck bottom, uh, river, or maybe a small lake. So um, I just need a small anchor in the John boat. I have the one that came with it. It was used, um, and it's just a small dance forth. It's like a, it's like that big, uh, not that big at all. It does the job, but I just wanted to get a new anchor see what I can go with and um, I wanted one for if I get stuck in the grass I could have an anchor to throw out and then hopefully use that to to pull my boat out of the weeds um, so I may be testing that soon I got two different anchors I got a claw anchor and then I got a dance forth um, the claw anchor was off of Amazon $30 and it is three and a half pounds. So, pretty cool. It's just a small little foldable anchor. Real quick, this is like the recovery system. It comes with a stainless steel deep in clevis there. And then um, I put the electrical tape here just as a rub because it's rubbing on metal there, rubbing on metal here, and then rubbing on metal there. A zip tie just for a for a break so pull it straight on if I get it stuck cannot get it up then just pull the opposite way the zip tie will break it'll pull it up through the bottom so that way it'll pull out backwards uh, at least that's my thinking I haven't tested it and that's what I want to do is test it but um, just got this just set it up so what happens here this twists so get it twisted this moves up these drop down this goes back down and it can lock into place so that way it can't fall back down and then once you're done pull it back up fold it up and you're good but um this is a small one, thirty dollars, three and a half pounds, and um, I would think it should hold my fourteen foot John boat. Um, it came with this really light line. I don't know how big it is. It's maybe three eighths, maybe quarter inch. I don't think it's quarter inch, but um, we'll see how it holds. That's the whole purpose of this. It comes as a kit for the thirty dollars. Comes with the anchor the stainless steel clevis on the end, the rope, and then it has a float on the very end. Um, just for packing rope in a bag, um, just feed it in there, and then when you want to take it out so it never gets clogged, you just shove it in there. So, pull this all the way out. And this is the float. Also comes with a little clip And then you got your float. So that way, if you do, th if you don't tie the end of the anchor off, you won't lose your anchor. You'll see where it is. Um, also comes in a little bag to carry it in if you'd like. Um, this is galvanized. Galvanized iron is what they say. And um, I'm hoping it'll do good. It's a nice cheap alternative. $30. The other anchor I got is a Guardian anchor. This is made by Fortress. They called a Fortress Guardian anchor. Uh, it's a Dansforth. And this is two and a half pounds. Very light, but it it's this length. It's, it's a lot bigger, so this anchor is 12 inches long. 
this one is 19 inches long. And then the sides of it here, that is 16. And then the flukes, I believe, are like 11 inches. So um, this is almost like an emergency anchor. It's very light, has a good holding power, and you just assemble it all. And um, It is more expensive, but if you need to cut down on weight and you want a lightweight anchor, this can be a very good alternative. So um, we'll show you a little bit of the packaging and then I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this. And then on the very end, All right, so this is normally $60 on their website. But if you go shopping around, I think Tackle Direct was the one who had it for $45 in free shipping. So it is a little bit more expensive, but it's lightweight, it's Dansworth, and um, should do good. So those are the two anchors that I got. Um, tell me which one you like better or which one I may like better. Um, I'll be testing these out probably in the next week or two, so that video should be coming up. But... Um, I got this one just because it was cheap and it folds up and it's small. Right now the Dansforth that I have in um, in my boat takes up that whole back compartment because it, it stretches out lengthwise and width and it bounces around and makes a ruckus. Something like this you can put it inside a sock and it doesn't rattle around and get all noisy. I should probably put chain on this. After looking up a few videos, I should probably make this section small chain, but with it being such a small boat, just being in mud and sand and not really using it like a true anchor, like a big boat anchor, um, this should do well for now. Um, if I'm using it a lot and I can see that the rope's getting frayed and I'm really starting to use it, then it would be smart to put on a section of chain. Um, but for now, this is just going to be my small boat anchor because I'm tired of that other one rattling around in the back and uh, taking up the space it does. I'm trying to condense the space, make it small, so that's why I got this Guardian one. You can take it apart, makes it fit easy in the boat, and it works. And then this other one, I can put it in the bag and the, it'll be there. So I got three different anchoring options now. I got these two anchors and then I got that push pull. So, um, it's like a push down anchor, the big old rod pole. This thingamajigger that I built up. Know you guys watch the video on that. But, um, yep, we'll be testing this out, those two anchors, and uh, it's going to be a fun day out on the water when we get there. So, this is just a quick overview of what next few weeks are going to be. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We'll be out on the water soon. Thanks for sticking with me. I know it's been a few born weeks, but um, we'll be getting out on the water soon. So I'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. This is JT Gatoring.